Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is uh, we're going to simplify radical expressions, or rational expressions, I'm sorry, um, uh, with excluded values. So this is where we really start honing in our, our factoring skills. So if you were in my class, I spent uh, four days reviewing factoring. So um, uh, it won't go away from now on, you guys, factoring. We're going to be factoring from, from now on, you guys. So anyways rational expre expressions are typically written as fractions you guys you know and we've always dealt with you know simple fractions like one fifth or two sevenths or something like that but these are going to be polynomial fractions things that we have to factor and the denominator can never equal zero you guys so uh, that when when we look at the denominator that'll give us our excluded values so we'll say you know later on in math we'll say X can be everything except these values and they're the the values that give you zero in the denominator so I can never have zero in a denominator of a fraction okay so here we go let's let's deal with that so state the excluded values in each rational expression okay so we got these two guys right here now uh, on any of these when it just says state the excluded values we're just looking at the denominators you guys we're not even looking at the numerators the numerators could be anything you guys so we just want to set um, the denominators equal to zero right there so when we set each denominator equal to zero so 10x equals zero 10 times what number equals zero well x equals zero would be our excluded value on this one I don't care about the numerator when I'm just focusing on the excluded values so we're just sort of disregarding the numerators right now. And over here, when I set 5x minus 2 equal to 0, we go plus 2 plus 2 to both sides and then divide by 5. So the excluded value on this fraction is 2 fifths right there. Okay, let's continue. All right, okay, here. Again, we don't need to look at the 7, you guys. We're just looking at um, the denominator. Set the denominator equal to 0. Okay, here, when you subtract 1 from both sides, uh, we get x squared equals negative 1, and we can never have a perfect square equaling a negative number right here. So there's no solution, so that just means there are no excluded values on that one, okay? All right, so the answer is not no solution, and the answer is uh, when it, because the directions say state the excluded values. There are none. I can never get any x values that will make this denominator equal to 0. Think if I squared anything. It's always positive, or 0 squared is 0, but when I add 1, it'll always be something plus 1, a positive number plus 1. Okay, here. Again, the 7,000, we don't even need to worry about. We just look at the denominator and set it equal to 0. Okay, plus 1 to both sides. We get x squared equals 1. Now, already, I already know half of you guys, maybe more, would forget about the plus or minus, you guys. Don't forget about when you have x squared equals a number, then x is going to be plus or minus the square root of that number, okay? Now, if you don't like that, then let's go back to the last, uh, uh, when we just got done with factoring, x squared minus 1 is a difference of squares. It becomes x plus 1, x minus 1. So the zero product property says we set this factor equal to 0 or this factor equal to 0. See here, I'd go minus 1, minus 1. Here it would be plus 1, plus 1. You still get plus or minus 1, whichever way you want to do that, okay? Okay, on this one right here, okay, again, we're not looking at the numerators right now. We're just looking at the denominator. So we set that denominator equal to 0, and then we factor. Okay, if you're in my class, I called it smiley face factoring. We multiplied these two numbers together. 8 times 5 equals 40. And can you think of any factors of 40 that add up to that 1 right there? There's an imaginary 1 right there. So here's 40 right here. Factors of 40 that add to that 1, uh, 1 times 40 equals 40, well that adds up to 41. 4 times 10 is 40, but that's 14. This adds up to 22, this adds up to 14. There are no factors, so this denominator doesn't factor, so there are no excluded values on that. Okay, This whole chapter is dealing with factoring, you guys, so... So I know some of you guys are going, oh, oh I don't get this. Well, it's, I mean, we've got to jump aboard with the factoring. Don't give up on yourself, okay? So again, I spent four days uh, right before we did this chapter on, on reviewing factoring. Okay, what's going to make this denominator equal to zero? Okay, when does 3x equal zero? Well, an x equals zero, so let's deal with that. So when 3x equals zero, so the excluded value is x is equal to zero. x can't be zero, that would be our excluded value. And do you see anything that cancels? Hopefully you see those x's cancel, so this uh, reduces to um, two-thirds. So that's the other part of the answer. So it says simply the rational expression well it's two-thirds 
and then state the excluded values. I like to do that part first right there so we don't lose it because if we just left this there wouldn't be an X in there anymore and, and you'd lose your excluded value. So you can't have zero. X can't zero. X can't be zero. Okay here let's state the excluded values first. We'll set 6x plus 30 equal to zero and subtract 30 on both sides and then divide by 6 you get uh, x equals negative 5 is our excluded value. Now let's simplify that. Okay, I can GCF a 6 out of this denominator, becomes 6 times x plus 5, and then these 6's cancel right here. So when the 6's cancel, we're left with x over x plus 5. Okay, don't make the pre-algebra mistake and cancel out these x's. That's a mistake, you guys, because this is x plus 5. You can't do that. If it was x times 5, I could cancel. But since it's x plus 5, that, I can't do anything. Okay, so when is this denominator going to be 0? When b equals 0. So the excluded value is b equals 0. Okay, and then we'll GCF out an 8b out on top. So when we pull an 8b out on top, we're left with b plus 2. Okay, now we already dealt with the excluded value. So the 8 and 32 cancel. The 1 and 4, the b's are going to cancel. So we should be left with... Um, uh, b plus 2 over 4, okay, because the b's are gone, this little singleton b and this b right here are gone, and 8 goes into 32 four times, so b plus 2 over 4 is our answer right there, okay, so that's this is the simplified answer, there's two answers to this, you guys, and the excluded value is b is equal to 0, okay, all right, let's do another one, so here, uh, set the denominator equal to 0, we get x equals 1, and this one's already simplified, we can't do anything else with that, Okay, this one's the hardest one of the bunch, you guys, just because we got to factor this guy right here. So I'm going to factor uh, this dude right over here. So let's factor uh, GCF out a 2. Those are all even numbers. So I just pulled a 2 out of all those. This divided by 2 is 3. This divided by 2 is 16. And this divided by 2 is 5. So here it is right here. Then smiley face factoring. 3 times 5 equals 15. Factors of 15 that add up to 16 are these two ones, 15 times 1. So I'm going to rewrite this, replacing this 16x squared with 15x and 1x right there. Okay? So now we factor this by grouping. So I can pull a 3x out of these two guys, and we're left with x plus 5. And I can only pull a 1 out of these two guys, and I'm left with x plus 5. So we can pull out uh, these blue x plus 5's and we're left with the red stuff, 3x plus 1. So, so this guy, don't forget about the 2, this 2 comes out, so this 2 is going to be that guy right there. Okay, so here's my 2, my x plus 5, 3x plus 1. Okay, this is just a difference of squares, so that becomes um, 3x plus 1, 3x minus 1. Okay, so that guy simplifies to all of that right there. Okay, I'm going to continue this. This is just going to be thrown over on the next page right there. Okay, so the excluded values are when this one equals 0 or this one equals 0. So we get plus or minus 1 third on that. And then here, let's see, I can cancel out a 3x plus 1 and a 3x plus 1 on the denominator. So the simplified version is the 2x plus 5 over 3x minus 1. There's the simplest form right there, okay? All right, that was the hardest one of the bunch. Okay, this one here, same thing. Factor first. Let's factor everything first. So um, uh, when that factors, there we are. Now we're going to deal with the excluded values. So the excluded values was when this equals 0 or this equals 0. So we get 3 or negative 2. Now we can cancel out these common factors, and we're left with x plus 4 over x plus 2. Okay, don't make a pre-algebra mistake and cancel these and or cancel these because of the plus sign here and the minus sign you can't. That's the answer right there. Okay, uh, getting almost almost done, you guys. Okay, let's factor these guys first. There we go. There's our excluded values and our simplified answer right there. All right, you guys can pause this and go backwards if you need to. Okay, let's factor these guys right here. So y plus 4, y minus 4. And then this is just a perfect square trinomial. It's y minus 8 squared. Okay, nothing cancels out, but I had to factor it to get the excluded values. So the excluded values is x equals 8. And if that's in simplest form already, okay? Later on when we get into Algebra 2 and Pre-Calculus, we're going to want to set the tops and bottoms equal to 0. So it's good to leave it in factored form like that, okay? Okay, this one's uh, probably the last uh, hardest one. So here we go. I factored uh, the top over here. So if you need to, pause it. I did smiley face on both the top and bottom. So I did the top in blue and the bottom in red. So here it is right there. Those guys cancel right there. And then um, uh, the excluded values are given right there. Okay, if you're in my class, I would assign that for your homework. Take care.